Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Vampire Diaries. We're at season 8 episode 14. This one's titled, It's Been a Hell of a Ride, which is an understatement. Let's just take a deep breath and go into it. You should talk to yourself and expect an answer. That way lies madness. Oh. I'll speak of the devil. Oh, he dra he the like devil. drained what him the hell to death. Is going on? I drag your soul to hell. Go for it. I'd rather burn than serve you for another second. I believe I have something that will change your mind. What do you got? Honor. There's nothing you can say. I understand. Oh my god. But I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't try. That's a shame. A good human skill is knowing when to shut up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You killed Enzo, Stefan. You killed Enzo. And I will spend the rest of my human life living with that guilt. Looking for ways to make up for my actions. Bit harsh, love. I didn't know you were here. Well, when you're in this state, it seems to be quite easy. I had a nasty run in with our old friend Kai Parker. Didn't end well. What are you talking about? Kai's dead. Ish. He was alive enough to scream Ish. over and kidnap the latest coffin. Hope wherever you're going can wait. Because I, I need your help, brother. <laughs> I think he's gonna help, but what That's help so can crazy. he be? Like, how much help? These could have fallen yeah. on you. He's human. What? Mama, blood off of my face. Cause I can't see through it anymore. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like I'm knocking on the heaven's door. Sing it with me. Crush this literal mic drop. Well, well, Crushed well. Crushed it. <laughs> you give me the dagger, and I'll kill him. Kate's the devil. I looked into his eyes when I was handing over Elena, and I decided that it's not worth the risk. Right, and you, you're just a puny vampire. Siphon me. I'm human. He's like, what? Are you serious? That is insane. That's like, like major life change. Wow, okay. Um, Damon. Damon. Oh, that is so sweet. I'd be sure to tell your brother oh. that you were thinking of him when you died. <laughs> what took you so long? Sorry. I went to put in a song. Priorities, man. Tiny human brain. I'm sure he thinks he's protecting you. He doesn't believe he's worthy of someone like you, Caroline. You felt that way about Elena. I need Stefan just as much as she needed you. And Lizzie and Josie need him too. Uh, enough <laughs> about Stefan already. Stefan. <laughs> Are you happy? Right now? Right now, yes. Why not forgive Stefan? Do you really have to ask? If you hold on to hating him, it will eat at you. Yeah, but like, it literally just happened. Can she be mad? Please? Like, she's allowed to be mad. <laughs> Jesus. And if you screw this up, we don't know what I'll do to Elaine. I'm sorry, David. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, you might feel that way. <laughs> oh, Stefan. Hello, Clarice. 
Killed your sister, Joe. You tried to kill our kids too. So I know that reference. Worst possible place to bring a siphon like <laughs> Easily the worst. I mean, there's, there's practically magic in the walls. See? to hate him, huh? I know I do. Elena! Does that mean you bought me the dagger? Yes. Oh. You intend to kill me? How optimistic. You're human. I'm almost worried you catch pneumonia and die in this very cave. What are the odds of you killing me? Not funny. <laughs> oh. It weakens him? Oh, we have to like do it again, and it's the only time we can kill him. Oh yeah. Okay, he's not a Maxwell and not a Donovan. Oh, Daddy. He's supposed to be asleep. Bro. Oh, we heard a crash. Mommy's not here. We're scared. Oh, I didn't hurt that. Okay, listen to me carefully. I don't have time. <laughs> oh, they're in the armory. That's true. Oh shit. Oh, and they're under the bed, just like Joe. Die. It seems your bell. Yeah, Alaric, what the fuck? So it doesn't matter if it rains 12 times? We had a deal, Kate. Hey. I will give you one soul. Oh, fuck off. Fuck right off. The question is, which soul will you save? Elena's or your brother's? Where are you? Just making my way to where kids like to hide. No Gemini's are supposed to be a brick. But first you don't succeed, we'll try, try to kill them again. He's deranged. Like, I'm curious, Dan. On What's another level. Kate, take me. I'm not from the angel on his shoulder. I'm doing you a favor, Damon. This exact choice has defined your life since the moment you and your brother first laid eyes on Elena. Choose. I choose me. Are you aware of what you're offering me? My soul in eternal anguish. Twisted, black, and delicious. Oh, Damon. Please don't do this. Sorry, Steph. It's been a hell of a ride. No, some something's gonna I'm happen. Gonna laugh first. Then promise me you'll keep your grubby paws yeah. off your soul. Put her out, man. Permanently. <laughs> Dot. You'll move, David. Please stop. Start Demon ringing the bell again. See you in hell, Kate. No, Damon. Yes. You will. <laughs> Bonnie! Oh my god, what the fuck? No. It's like a recording? For Joe. Not in the nuts. Yeah, that wasn't fair. You were saying something. That was the nutcracker. About, uh, this is for. Yeah. For Joe. Bitch. That's what he was gonna say. Ellie. So I guess this is where the tragic tale of Damon Salvatore ends. Look on the bright side. Your suffering is just beginning. Well, that was anticlimactic. We taking an Uber instead? We have a visitor. And her pain will be almost as sweet as you. Funny? Miss Bennett. You're just in time. You shouldn't be here, bud. 
Let him go. <laughs> and why should I do that? Damon's soul is sold to me. Like you said, we share the same gift. I won't let you take him without a fight. I was hoping you'd say that. Please, let go, Bart. Or I will. Damon, don't you dare. Into my body. Fuck yeah! No need to explain. I'll I'll take it. Let me do the dirty work next time, okay? Can, is Enzo back? Could that have brought back Enzo? Please tell me Enzo's back. I don't think my slate will ever be clean. But I don't need some spirit journey with a bunch of strangers to convince me that my redemption is within reach. I just need the people I love. Don't walk away from your list because you don't think you're worth it. But like I said, brother, it's your call. That was Start a great calling. talk. Well, good. Why are you... Don't marry me. What? I don't expect you to believe that I'm sorry or that I love you just because I say it. I figured mm -hmm. out that I'm an idiot. <laughs> intellectually challenged, maybe even blind. I couldn't see that everything that I was looking for was right here in you. Will you marry me? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's a prison world. Where is everyone? Oh, there is no one else. Just you and your insecure little mind and a song you hate on the jukebox forever. Oh, I can't believe you guys fell for it. <laughs> fell for what? Hmm? Fell for what? In fact, thanks to you killing Cade, Hell's never been in better hands. What are you talking about? If Cade's not running Hell, who is? Think of the only person worse than Cade. Think of the only person worse. The one who wants revenge for what we did. Say it like, listen to me. The myth, the legend, the baddest bitch of all. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> what? No. No. Why? How? We're toast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but unless, unless being in hell literally like gave her more powers than just being because when she died she was human right when she died she was human so she died as a human so unless being in hell gave her some kind of powers that make her more powerful than Cade I'm sorry but that's not worse I get that it's more personal but I feel like Cade is way like was way scarier and way more threatening but I love, I love that. Like, that's amazing. And at first I was just like, to her? Like, I was trying to think of another, like, big villain. And uh, what the fuck was her name? Tessa? Was it Tessa? I'm not sure if it was Tessa, but it was with Silas. Like, uh, the girl that was trying to, like, get revenge on Silas. Uh, I have Tessa in mind, but it, it might not be Tessa, but... I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. I had her come to mind because I was like, well, she was like this powerful witch and, you know, a, a woman that we did like, I don't know, I guess we did her wrong. And then 
when they said like the baddest bitch of all or something like that is that what they said the myth the baddest the baddest bitch of all when they said the myth the legend i was just like okay so it's gonna be like a legend um you know this mystical creature or something and then he said the baddest bitch of all and it kind of like squashed that idea but that's interesting and like i said unless she has like powers what is she gonna do like how does he know that she's running hell like how do you know that who told you i guess he was in hell and maybe she was like Cade's right arm <laughs> i don't know this is like the first time we mentioned her since well mentioned her in a way of like oh we know what she's up to ever since she she's like died and went to hell all right oh my god we have two episodes left and now they're talking about Catherine. <laughs> this is so freaking exciting as for this episode amazing as usual kai was unhinged fucking crazy and funny like, he, he's really good at being terrifying, but also making you giggle a little bit. You know, he's gonna be, like, super scary trying to, like... Sorry, there's a cat hair flying around. Yeah, he's gonna be, like, super scary wielding an axe going on his way to, like, killing two little girls who he's related to. And he's gonna make you giggle at the same time. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is up with that? Um, I think the actor is just amazing and I missed him. I, I didn't know how much I missed him. And he's got such good chemistry with the cast at the same time that it's like, it feels like he should have been there from the beginning and like he should have never died. But then it's like, he's a problem because there's no, like he said to Damon, there's no redemption for him. And I actually think it's true. Like he's a sociopath. You can't get a sociopath to care about others and what like his effect on others it's just not gonna happen bonnie showing up like that scene with bonnie and damon like him uh well her not wanting to let him go made me emotional because i love their friendship damon and bonnie have one of like the best relationships on the show the best friendships one of the best friendships because uh it evolved and it started like not good at all like it didn't start on the right foot but then they got so close and then he left broke her trust hurt her feelings and then it's like you know that when the time comes she'll still show up for him and you know fight for him so i think that was amazing and it made me emotional because it just like reminded me of how great their friendship is also damon and stefan <laughs> love them uh they they love each other the brothers forever the biggest love story on this show point blank and every single one of their scenes was amazing that's all i can say like i don't even have words i can't even like you guys already know why they're amazing and why it was so touching and just like the way they talked and damon like convinced him to stick around and like it's not the right thing to do and I feel like he kind of learned from his mistake when he daggered himself because at some point when he was trying to you know reason with Stefan I thought Stefan would bring that up and be like well who are you to like try to tell me what's wrong or like what I should do when you didn't even want me to you know try to convince you to not dagger yourself you just did it like, who are you to tell me to listen to you right now? So, they didn't bring it up, but it, like, I thought about it. Woo! Okay. I'm excited. I'm so excited. That was amazing. That was season 8, episode 14. It's been a hell of a ride. And it has been. It really has. And now we have two episodes left. And they're talking about Catherine. You guys don't understand, like, I'm giddy right now. So, I'll see you guys for the next one. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching.